Tell a little bit of your story, which you already told us, if you don't mind. You've yes. been a heroin addict since? Ever since I was born, I was a fetal alcohol center child, and um, ever since then, I, I don't think I really even had a chance right from the start, but I was an addict. And, uh, I was lucky. I was lucky to be a, 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 a adopted by a really supportive parents, and uh, even then, um, nothing really seemed to help. Uh, tried everything. Everything. It just gets too overwhelming. I always wanted to get clean. I never make it. <laughs> Fifty years old, and I think I've had every disease, all the hardships go along with addiction, um, homelessness, um, withdrawal every day, even when I was medicated by the pharmacies. And, uh, it never seems to work. Nothing, nothing does. So you've tried Suboxone, you've tried now? Yeah, I've tried Suboxone many a times. And methadone, of course. And methadose, uh, 28, 28 years out of my life. Yeah, and it's amazing that this is so simple. And I mean, it just doesn't come. All this time. I th one time I thought I knew every addict in town, or every alcoholic as well, and uh, of course that's not quite true. But in 35 years I've met many and I've treated many. And, uh, and these treatments work. I have many different treatments, but this is the one that uh, seems to be most effective for addressing the opioid epidemic. With the um, Opioid, uh, with an opioid addiction, you, there will be no wait list for detox because people, you can detoxify at home. You can actually treat yourself and your friends at home. All you need is uh, a few copper electrodes, a few uh, silver electrodes with an illustration, a diagram of where to put them, how to put them on, and bingo, you're comfortable. And a um, little duct tape or scotch tape, or I use actually some uh, hypoallergenic tape. <laughs> but that's all they are, copper and silver. We're electrolyte beings. We are, um, which means, uh, there's a famous author. His name is Dr. Robert Becker. He wrote a book called The Body Electric. This is a legendary book. He treated a, he treated a Vietnam War vet who uh, was about to have his leg amputated because he had a gangrenous infection. Well, that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll actually use some of the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. And anyway, what he did, and this is what in, uh, partially inspired me, was he put electrodes on either side of the infected wound. It was right into the bone. And they were actually prepared to amputate because nothing else would work. You know, you know the, the antibiotics and anti you know, it just didn't work. And so, and then he put electricity through from one end to the other end, through the bone. And anyway, shortly thereafter, well, fairly shortly thereafter that uh, Vietnam War vet, he uh, walked out of the hospital on two legs instead of one. Holy. And uh, so that was impressive. He went on to do many, a lot of research, Dr. Robert Becker, on all kinds of uh, um, diseases and pain problems and, and so on. Um, I initially was introduced to the use of electrodes back in 1999. I learned a therapy called Korean hand therapy. And um, every time I do it, I simply have to put electrodes on the ear or the hand. I could have a tooth problem and simply go to the hand if the tooth problem was on my left side, I would go to the left hand. This, the whole body, it's a, it's a microsystem of, of the body right there. This is the head, these are the arms, and these are the feet. And so it's an animal walking across like this. Anyway, this is the head. All I have to do is find a point. If the tooth pain is here, I'll find a tender point right there. All I need to do is simply put a piece of 
silver medal on that tender point. Almost immediately, a lot faster than what happened to Cameron today, the tooth pain will be gone. And um, I would back it up with another treatment uh, in the ear as well, because the same thing, a microsystem of the whole body. And the thing is, the ear, you don't wash them off. They can stay on easily for a week. So that tooth pain will be effectively treated. Pain will be gone. If you use silver, actual true silver, um, it will be sending silver ions actually to the tooth, dealing with the infection. So there's, I can, I can target any, any infection in the body and use a microsystem to treat it and uh, simply send silver ions to the, uh, the target organ or the target tissues, which are an infection. So, I mean, this is outlandish as far as medical uh, science goes. And now, sorry, they, less to interrupt, but what's the basis of that? Like, how can it possibly send? Well, since for the last thousand years, they've been using uh, silver as a... They'll take a silver coin and throw it in the well or in an urn of water, and it will actually purify the water. Uh, the silver ions will disperse within the electrolytes of the water and uh, it will destroy any bacteria, virus, uh, fungus, uh, antimicrobial. Well established, well researched, well known. Um, they've since forgotten about this because the use of antibiotics, uh, when antibiotics came on, uh, on the scene, well all these old ma fashioned methods of using silver and even copper is also antibiotic antiviral and antifungal. They used copper handles, door handles and so on in the hospitals. They would effectively eliminate a lot of the, uh, the infections that are dancing around from one person to another. Yeah. Yeah, I always feel, I, I, don't, I always feel like now I'm like I'm not even going through any withdrawal right now. It's utterly amazing. This is actually the first uh, demonstration that I've been able to have where we've got it on camera where that people I forgot one thing at the very beginning of my presentation today I want to give a little uh, uh, thanks to my friend Don here who's been working with me for the past uh, month and doing a lot of camera work a lot of video work so we're getting it out on YouTube mm -hmm. and um, nice. explaining as much as I'm capable of how this actually works so I mean you know, we've got three or four, half a dozen people here that can uh, right. talk about it and maybe... It's spread it. Yeah. yeah. But you can t take these and go treat your friends and yeah. your friends can come and visit me or we can have another session. On, well, I'll bring you, know, you as many clients as you want. <laughs> and we can get it on tape. So this is, a, this is a, the foundation of uh, something uh, new here. So, Cameron, would you slowly, would you slowly go off... Um, the medication you're on. Yeah, I would. Over I would. Time, yeah, I would even. Would I would even ask if it, if it was, if it was, if, if it was. I feel. I feel that even with the large dose that I'm on, I still have to go out and use all day long out in the streets to feel I need somewhat of relief. Yeah. And I wake up like maybe three, four times a night. And I I can't get back to sleep. Mm -hmm. I can't. No matter how hard I try, I have to self-medicate, and mm -hmm. even that takes a lot of, uh, you know, overwhelming drive to yeah. do. And once I've done it, I still have problems going back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Cameron, what do you do about the fentanyl problem? Mm -hmm. What do you do about the fentanyl problem? Do you start with the testing strips or something? Uh, I don't. I don't even. I got to the point where I was just getting so desensitized that I didn't even care anymore if I if I died. Mm. Yeah, the truth be not, <clears throat> but it was really hard on my parents because they could see where I was going, and it was just really hard on me. It's always been hard. <sighs> It kept me something you, so yeah, simple right. as, yeah. as relieving my pain. It's just, it just makes me so angry. I wasn't here when I started. I wouldn't have HIV. I wouldn't have Hep C. All my friends are dead. And it really just sickens me. But it makes me happier that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. 
maybe even for somebody that doesn't have to suffer through this. That's all I wish for. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I wouldn't, truthfully, I wouldn't. So, uh, Cameron, could you just remind us? Yeah, thanks. On a scale of, I mean, unfortunately it's not the best scale in the world, but do you feel any physical pain right now? No. And how about your emotional state? I mean, clearly you're very emotional, but... Uh, because all emotions are coming to the hold. I'm, I'm going through, I, I think I'm going through withdrawal, but I'm not like hurting, hurting, and I'm not suffering. It's really odd. It's an odd feeling to me. I've never felt this way before. It's really peculiar to me. I, 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 most of the times that I, I feel like this, and I, and I want to kill my emotions. I don't want to feel anymore because they're too overwhelming for me because there's so much of it coming back that I have to self-medicate because it, it, it's the only thing that really helps me. It's the pain, fighting the pain on top of the pain. Now I feel kind of relaxed. I, I, it's a very odd feeling to me. I, I just really can't describe it. Yeah, it's like I just won a, a million trillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, in my experience uh, with treating people in detox centers and and treatment centers, people will sleep. You know, and, I mean, they will sleep through the night and they will feel comfortable throughout the period where they have these electrodes attached to their body. A lot of people actually begin using because they, you know, they had physical pains to begin with. Not only can we treat the addiction, the, uh, the craving, the, uh, the, the excruciating pain of withdrawal, but we can treat the originating pain, uh, whether it be back pain or migraines or uh, you name it, any kind of physical body pain, we can easily treat it. And I can guarantee when these electrodes are placed on the body appropriately and correctly, that pain will be gone uh, almost instantly. And um, it's so simple. All your friends can learn how to do this and treat themselves. We're going to change the face of the uh, opioid Planet. epidemic. Started That's here so in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Cameron, I'm, I'm recording right now, yeah. and um, I'm just wondering, like, uh, we did the treatment on you Tuesday, yeah. and uh, I just want to know how you felt after that treatment. Were you able to get a good night's sleep after that? Um, yeah, I was actually, I, 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 was, I, was, I was feeling a lot better, a lot better when I left. Um, I was feeling like, uh, like I've never felt that way before, like... Uh, yeah, I really can't describe. Well, I can't describe to you. I mean, I, I mean, I've never felt that way ever before. I mean, even when I was clean and sober, and uh, I, I just never felt so relieved of everything. Like there was no weight on my back. There was no. I wasn't suffering from anything. Like, yeah, <laughs> it was an odd feeling because I haven't felt that way for, you know, even you know, I mean, before I was on drugs. I mean, that's. You know, so I, I can't even remember how I felt back then. So yeah, it's it was it was it was a good feeling though. You know, needless to say. Okay, so we treated you on Tuesday. Today is a Friday. Yep. Um, how long did the electrodes actually stay on your fingers um, and toes? Well, when when you when you when you when you put them on, it was like with, I think it was with Scotch tape or something like that, right? Special so, tape. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I. I I mean, I'm pretty hard when I when I when I, when I go out there and I you know I mean, um, uh, they stayed on until yesterday, until like around three o'clock, as a matter of fact, and uh, you know the scotch tape was getting a little bit sort of ugly, so I had to take it off, right? And you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, otherwise it would have stayed on for you know longer than that, if you know. I see these uh, these ones are still on your hand. Yeah. 
You can look at uh, Cameron's hand here. This is a treatment for back pain. This is low back, and this is Cameron's spine. So it, the way you've been uh, moving around this yeah. morning, I see that you yeah, it's, it's not even affecting me. Yes. And a scale of one to ten, do you have any back pain right now? Not at all. As long as these are on, these um, ink electrodes are on these points, I, I expect that Cameron will not experience uh, back pain. But normally you would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. So let's uh, slap on a few electrodes. Okay. Now you mentioned that you have some pain in your elbow. Yeah. Are they both elbows or just the one? No, this was it was just a uh, septic arthritis. I mean, uh, it was yeah septic arthritis in this uh, this elbow. So yeah, the pain still comes back every. Okay, can you point to me where the pain actually is? It's in here, and it's in here, and around here. That's where they have to open up my elbow and shovel scrape all the decaying bone out of it, right? And up here, that's where I get some shocks. Like, I get just, like, shocks. I guess it's from the arthritis, right? Because it was a really, uh, I mean, septic arthritis is probably the worst arthritis you can get, right? More or less. And I just get these electrical sort of shocks of arthritis. I, I, that's what it feels like to me, up my arm and down this way. So Now, even with these on here, on his uh, fingers, do you feel any uh, pain in your elbow right now? Not really. Okay, no, so I give, don't. It a, give it a good workout and tell me if you feel any discomfort. Where is it? Did you have any discomfort earlier? Um, I did before you put it on. But yeah, that's... It's kind of bizarre. I don't anymore. Yeah. So these electrodes on his uh, fingers are actually, it'll be this one here. This electrode, the silver electrode, is going up here and going through the area of your arthritis in your mm -hmm. elbow. And so this should be effectively treating that as well as uh, treating uh, your withdrawal. All right.